Hello, my name is Charles Martin. I'm with Literati Press Bookshop in the Paseo Arts District. Uh, we are closed to the public, including the gallery, but we are still shipping, we're still delivering, still doing a uh, pick, pick up outside of the shop. Uh, basically everything we can do to try and manage selling books in the pandemic. Uh, if you are interested in ordering a book, literatipressok.com, you can shoot me a message, any of the social media at Literati Press. Uh, text or call the shop uh, phone number or go to bookshop.org find us on there it's the American Booksellers Association's website that is kind of the rival to Amazon so today we are doing basketball and other things by Shea Serrano so Shea Serrano is a hilarious and insightful uh, sports writer and in this he poses a number of questions um, some kind of some legitimate some absolutely absurd um, and basically using humor to really delve into the personalities of the players of the NBA um, it yeah I just adore this book so much so the one that we're going to read we're just gonna read a little bit but uh, it is which NBA players group are you joining if the purge begins tonight so The Purge is the horror movie franchise that is kind of terrible, but it's still kind of fun, where everything is legal for one night, basically, to eliminate excess humans. Um, so this is about if, whose, whose group you're going to join to try and survive the night. So, with no further ado, The Purge is a movie that came out in 2013. The foundation of its premise is as follows. In response to a crippling economic collapse, America creates The Purge, a once a year event where from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. all crimes are legal, including murder. The killing helps to eradicate the nation's criminals and unemployed, we're told, as poor people and homeless people become the main cohorts of haunted humans. Hunted humans. They say things in The Purge like, we can afford protection, so we'll be fine. So I suspect the movie wanted to be taken seriously on a, high, a level higher than the action horror genre it marketed itself as. Something about classism or the privilege of uh, catharsis as, vir as virtue or the immorality of wealth or whatever, I'm sure. Mostly though, it was just a thing you watched and when you were done, you said something like, that was probably a better idea for a movie than it was an actual movie. Um, we're going to skip ahead to one of the players that he chooses. Um, so this is the one I really like. Uh, so there are different groups that he's kind of sectioning everything into. Um, this is group three, the quote, make sure your final wishes are in order group. Symbolic figure, Steph, Cur Steph Curry, eight years in the league, endorsement deal with Express. I love Steph. I truly do. He plays basketball in a way that feels like he's a basketball player, feel, feels less like he's a basketball player and more like he's a classically trained pianist. He's beautiful and it's transcendent during a crucial part of a gigantic game. I trust him completely and entirely. But during a purge night, man, I don't know. Maybe it's because of his soft eyes or his pouty lips. Maybe it's because he flutters around the court like a butterfly. Maybe it's because he did a water filter commercial. Killers don't care about mineral filtration. I just find it real hard to say that Purge Night ends any other way than with the inside of his body on the outsides of his body. You know what I'm saying. Bad news for anyone in the group. Estimated personal survival time, less than two hours. Estimated squad member survival rate, zero of the six people in his group are surviving the night. Likelihood he'll murder you. It's low. You're looking at a 5 to 10% chance, but it won't be an on purpose kill. If it ha happens, it'll be completely by accident. Like maybe you two are in a dark hallway and you call his name and, gets, and he gets startled and accidentally shoots you in the chest. Some other guys in this group Vince Carter, half man, half purged. Gilbert Arenas, shake my head. Patrick Ewing, in all likelihood, Ewing belonged to group two, but I saw him at a, at a Best Buy in 2005, a few days before Christmas, and I waved hello to him and he ignored me, so I'm putting him in here because that hurt my feelings. The guys from Space Jam who had their talent stolen by the aliens. Smush Parker, poor Smush. The 1994 version of the Sonics. My baby's here, by the way, so that you can probably hear him in the background. Baby, wife. 
My older son's over there. He's in the north. Um, the 1994 version of the Sonics. Anyone who had a cocaine problem in the 1980s. Ricky Davis, is there a way to get a triple-double while you're getting purged? Question mark. Everyone who was on the 2002 Sacramento Kings, except for Mike Bibby and Bobby Jackson. Tracy McGrady, he probably wouldn't even make it out of the first round of the purge. Rick Smiths, I couldn't be argued the other way on his pick. Brian, Byron, Brian, Brian Russell and Craig Elo. It seems like a good rule is anyone who, could, who was on the wrong end of an iconic play automatically gets a group three designation. Anyway, so you get the idea. Basketball and other things. It's a fantastic book, really hilarious. And if you've got any kind of movie background or NBA book or background knowledge, you'll love it. They also did movies and other things. So if you love um, movies, definitely good, worth considering. And he also did wrap your book, which was really fun. Uh, that is where he would go year by year and decide what's the most important rap song of the year and talk about that, but also have a guest uh, come in and write a, uh, an essay um, backing a different song. So, funny writer, great mind, really big into the details. So, yeah, Chase Serrano, please read him. Thank you.